Don't worry. I am worrying. Everything is going to be okay. Are you sure? I don't believe you. Will you forgive me? For what? My best friend. Please. Oh God, okay, we're back here. Ah, this is different. A tissue box. A sketchbook, take a look. Oh. Only one picture. Nothing but static. A light bulb hangs from the ceiling. Do you want to destroy it? Oh, I don't know. Um, I guess I might have to. I can't go into the menu or anything. Welcome to Black Space. Something. Drags Sunny into the shadows. Ouch. Sunny's attacked did nothing. Sunny's attacked did nothing. Something taunts Sunny. What will you do? Calm down. Let's uh, heal up. This guy looks kind of scary. Let's focus. Hmm. 
Maybe I missed my chance to attack. Still does nothing. Persist. Cannot reach zero for one turn. Um, it's very dark. Calm down. Something sways in the wind. Attack? You feel like your life is in danger. Your lungs tighten up. Your heart beats out of your chest. Your fingers won't stop trembling. You hear your breathing begin to steady. hear your heart begin to steady. You gather all your courage and learn to over overcome. Overcome. Gather all your courage. Got a light bulb. I still have. I'm still like. I still don't know where this is going, man. save. Sunny, you're finally here. Where is here? I've always dreamed that you would come back for me, but maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, Please, forgive me. 
at the photo album. Why, why will I have to forgive you? There's still hope for us because you're here. I believe in you and you, I believed in you and you came back for me. So please believe in me too, okay? I will try. Um... We're putting more... Oh gosh. Putting more pictures in. These pictures are a little bit spookier. holding a mirror? I don't know. I don't understand. An eerie red glow radiates from the TV. You feel strangely drawn to it. person is breathing steadily. You see four kids climbing a ladder to space. You see five kids having a picnic. You see four kids riding an elevator. You see four kids talking to a whale. It's all our adventures. You see three kids and one toast. Yeah, that happens sometimes too. You see four kids talking to a giant statue. You see four kids playing in the forest. You see four kids riding a minecart. Yeah, we were coming after you, Basil. See Mari? This person is not breathing. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Gotta check all the doors just to make sure.
but this person is not breathing. What? Can you explain this? Sunny, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Um, my face is all red. Mari's calendar. Today is the day of the recital. Something is preventing you from getting any closer. Oh no. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh. I'm so confused. Oh, the violin. <laughs> Um, Sunny, what did you do? What did you do? Do you want to screw in the light bulb? Okay. Wait. Oh, thank you. Um, yes? So... Did they just... I... Oi. Um... So... I... I don't know. They got into an argument. He didn't want to do the recital, maybe, and he pushed her, but then why and what? Why does everyone think that she hung herself? The air feels nice in here. I'm thinking! Hey. 
And Basil knows the truth, or...? I should have just eaten my leftover meatloaf and just gone to sleep. He hid the truth? He's the only one who knows. Oh my god. Oh my- what the fuck? I've been playing as a freaking monster! She didn't do it. It was an accident. Or was it? Well, the autopsy would have shown. Come on now. The toy box. So maybe Basil was there around the corner. I don't know. Would be hard for him to stay hidden and take all those photos. So she falls down the stairs. He's... This picture is the one that confuses me. There's... What am I looking at here? Is that a foot? Are there two people? There's two people carrying her. Maybe. Maybe Basil's an accomplice. I don't know. I get that picture confuses me. Yeah, somebody, there's somebody else there.
Hey, Sunny. We gotta do something about this. Now what are they doing? Oh. Yeah, they're carrying her to the tree. I mean, Sonny wouldn't be able to do all of this on his own because he's so small and, and skinny and of myself <laughs> now time for a midnight snack do you want to save basil yes We're both little monsters now. Ah, oh, Sunny, it's just you. Yeah, it's just me. Wait. Wait a minute. What if, what if we don't, what if we shouldn't save Basil? What if he's going to take Basil out because Basil knows? Maybe Basil's not sad that Sonny's moving. Maybe he's afraid that Sonny's going to try to take him out before he leaves. And make sure his secret is safe. I'm glad you came. It's... It's so good to see you. It came to you that day. The day Mari died. When Mari... When Mari fell, you... you couldn't have done it. It was something behind you, wasn't it? You're a good person, Sonny. I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you finally come back for me. Uh, come back to do what? But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Sonny. That's so mean. Uh, there's something all around us now. Can you see it, Sunny? There's no way out of this, is there? Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I am, like, creeped out to the max right now. 
I don't want to be alone. Not again. You can't leave me again. No. You wouldn't leave me. That's not like you, Sunny. It's something behind you again, isn't it? Ah, there it is now! Do you see it? Stay away! Stay away from Sunny! I'll protect you no matter what, Sunny. You can count on me. When something killed Mari, when something ruined all my photos, I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, Sunny. <gasps> He's the one who blacked out the faces. It wasn't Basil. Oh my god. Sunny! Sunny wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, Sunny. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Sunny, don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything is going to be okay. Everything. What the hell is happening? It's going to be okay. I... 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 What? <coughs> Attack Basil? No, I can't. Calm down. You tried to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. Basil's eyes are red from crying. You want to run. Yeah, run. Oh, I can't run. Uh, focus. You tried to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. You want to run. Persist. Sunny. There's no way out of this, is there? You tried to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. I can do? I shouldn't have come into the room! Tell me, Sunny. Am I selfish for doing this? Basil reaches <coughs> inside Sunny. <laughs> Sunny, do you hate me? Yeah, yeah, I want to run. I want to run. Please stop it. Stop struggling, Sunny. I'm... I'm so tired. What are we even attacking each other with? Is this even real life? 
Our energy is up. to be okay. I don't know. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Come on. At least let me turn him into bread. just way weird. No. Your acknowledgement of the truth has come at a great cost, but it is not too late for redemption. Fortunately, you still know the way back home. I don't know what's going on, but I don't think I like any of it. your way back home I don't know if I've ever said this properly but I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble when I gave you my photo album I really did want you to have it but somehow whenever I try to help I always end up burdening you instead even back then All this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts, even if you try to bottle it all up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay, but we have no choice but to carry on. But that's up to you. Aubrey, Kel, and Hero are good friends. 
You have to trust that they'll forgive us. Oh, boy. It's hard to truly believe that, but... The photos in our album, they're not just photos. They're real memories. Our memories. It's proof of our friendship. Hold those pictures close and remember what you want to protect. <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks like I'm burdening you again. The path to your future will open soon. <coughs> but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Sunny, let's make some new memories together, okay? I don't know if any of this is real. I'm just so confused. Not home right now. forget it's in the toy box oh yeah I keep forgetting <laughs> I keep forgetting what's in the toy box Sunny, it's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes. But you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Sunny. You worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. Bruh. Gotta turn myself into the police. Good kitty. Oh, is the toy box in here? <gasps> toy box. Okay. Sure. Sure, what could go wrong? The broken violin. You got a violin. Strands of long black hair are entangled with its strings. You got sheet music. The paper is torn and wrinkled by blood, but it can still be read. Oh. Oh. It's the evidence of our guilt. What do we do?
Yes, I got just what I needed. Uh-oh, my hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell people that, Kel. You have to keep a good poker face. Ah, when did you get behind me, Mari? I just got here, silly. Here, I brought cookies for everyone. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, y yeah. <laughs> Aw, man. Don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. <laughs> huh? Another photo? And what's so funny anyway? Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. Hmm. You look at Kel's hand. It's a four, a six, and a six. Don't look, Sunny. It's... it's too horrible. Uh, I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Mari's cookies are the best, huh, Sunny? Oh, Hero, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mari's cookies... Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Oh, stop it, Hero. You're embarrassing me. You look at Aubrey's hand. A two, a five, and a ten. Hmm. What do you think, Sunny? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. You look at Basil's hand. It's a jack and an ace. Shh. Don't tell anyone, okay? You look at your hand. It's an ace and an ace. Tough luck as usual. Are you sure you want to go? Um... I think... So? What is it, Sunny? Did you want to see my photos? Okay, here you go. But keep a straight face, okay? <laughs> it's so nice to spend our last days of summer here. We should do this every year. <coughs> here, have a cookie. Got Mari's cookie. It was perfectly crisp on the outside and sweet and gooey on the inside. <laughs> Talk about luck, huh, Sunny? Hmm. Okay. I think we move on to the next memory. You remembered the smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made it from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. Okay, that's that's a good sign, right? Beach time. And there, the watermelons all cut up. Come on everyone, take a slice. Yay, thank you, hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Aw, oh, not now, Mari. <laughs> Woohoo! Nothing beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. Nom, 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 nom. Much more dainty, nom, nom, nom. Take a picture of me while I'm eating, Basil? Oh, I'm sorry, Aubrey. I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. 
Basil's tote bag. It's a little small, but he likes it. Bunch of beach <coughs> toys. Fun for everyone. Relax, unwind, and enjoy. My plastic bag. It's functional. <laughs> Kel's backpack. It's way too big for him. A fully eaten watermelon. It was delicious. Aubrey's pouch. It fits her perfectly. Mari's beach bag. It matches with Hero's. Hero's beach bag. It matches with Mari's. all over your face. Well, how about this then? <laughs> Ew, stop it, Aubrey. You're gonna give me cooties. Let them play, Hero. They're just teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were younger? I used to hide bugs in your desk all the time just to see your reaction. You were always so funny. Wait, that was you? <laughs> oh, whoops. Am I in trouble now, hero? <laughs> Guys, come on. We're at the beach. We're supposed to be relaxing. Pew. Ew, gross. Stop spitting seeds on me, Kel. Oh, it's the same... Same dialogue. Sunny, did you want to see the photo of Aubrey? Aubrey is so cute, isn't she? Okay. I think we're we're done here. How do I get out of here? Remembered the taste of watermelon. It tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer. The violin mended a part of itself. Are we gonna re make wreath? Flowers now? Flower crowns now? Hmm. It looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, hero. Aw, oh, it was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. I'm glad you all liked it. One day, you're going to be a world-famous chef, and you're going to cook me lots of yummy food. Huh? Wait, I am? Of course you are. I believe in you, hero. Well, if you say so. So, it's dark because Sunny's eyes are closed, but maybe, I guess he's not asleep. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah, I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait a sec. There's something strange in this photo. Hector! How could you? He shit on it? Oh God. <laughs> hey, Sunny. Can I poke your brain for a minute? I really love cooking and all, and Mari always says I'm really good, but my parents want me to become a doctor. Do you think I should become a chef? I think right now he... He's actually... Doing his, uh... He's going to college to be a doctor, I think. 
Because I think it's they said that he doesn't cook that much anymore or something. I don't know. But yeah, I think you should. <laughs> Maybe. We're still young. We should dream big, right? Hmm. But yeah, my mom's going to have something to say about that. Well, you know what? No matter what you do, you're, I met your mom. And no matter what you do, she's going to have something to say about it. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, hey, little brother. Sorry. Did we wake you up? You looked so peaceful sleeping there. Reminds me of when you were just a baby. Hey, Sunny. I took a photo of everyone earlier. Wanna see? This could have been such a good shot, but Hector had to ruin the photo with his poop! Oh, maybe I can cover it up with tape later. <laughs> Everyone's shoes. Can't get the picnic blanket dirty. What's up here? Mari's cookies. Yum, yum, yum. Half-eaten watermelon. The other half is in everyone's stomachs. Oh no, I stepped on the poop! Okay. You remembered. The feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. It felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. The violin mended a part of itself. Yeah, but who's going to keep Mari safe from us? Hey, Sunny. Hey, Basil. What took you guys so long? Sorry, we got carried away playing this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil, Basil, take a picture of my new raincoat. Oh, okay. One sec. Do you like it, Sunny? It's my favorite color, pink. Ew, pink is a gross color. No, it's not, Kel. You're a gross color. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Sunny. That reminds me. Mari and I were talking about dyeing our hair together. Mari says she's gonna dye her hair purple. Uh, purple? You wanna know what color I chose? Wait. Are you saying you wanna dye your hair pink? Oh, that's why she has pink hair. That's why. Ew, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. Mari thinks so too. Hmm. I'll never understand you two and your cra- I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think it would look good on you, Aubrey. What do you think, Sunny? Yeah. Sunny says he thinks the pink is a great color. See? Even Basil and Sunny agree. You're the one who's weird, Kel. <laughs> Whatever. You said you and Basil were playing that new Pet Rocks game? Hmm. Maybe I should get into it, too. Hey, I know. Why don't we go to Hobbies to check if they see have any new stuff? Yay! That settles it. One day, I'm going to dye my hair pink. But maybe not anytime soon. My dad is kind of strict about these things. What is it, Sunny? Did you want to see the photo? Oh, <laughs> look at Cal back there. You always... Ask to look at my photo whenever I take any pictures of Aubrey. Do I maybe sense a little crush? You feel your ears turning red. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't say anything. My lips are sealed. Oh, 
Oh, are you going on ahead, Sunny? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. Okay. All right. Where is this going? Where is this going? You remembered the sound of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. The violin mended a part of itself. Are you sure you don't want to be in the photo, Sunny? Sunny is a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? It's okay, Sunny. You'll get used to it soon enough. <laughs> wow, this cake looks so amazing! You've really outdone yourself this time, Hero. Yay! Thanks, Hero! I love strawberries! Basil, Basil! What wish are you going to make? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey. Or else it won't come true. Huh? Is that how it works? Then in that case, I wish that Cal would get straight A's in school! Hey, you can't do that! Hmm. A wish? Uh, but what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. Oh, God damn it, motherfucker. Oh, I know. <laughs> I think I'll wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Aw, I want to know though. Guys, if we don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Did you want to start us off, Mari? Sure thing. Ahem, <clears> hmm. <throat> And a one, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Basil. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Blow your candles, Basil. Make a wish. You remembered Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. But you also remembered as Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, you wished for everyone to be happy. Hmm. The violin mended a part of itself. Okay. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Now are we going to make flower crowns? Wow, a new basketball? Thanks, bro. No problem, Kel. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. Uh-huh, you bet. Okay, Sunny, it's time for you to open up your present. Ah. This year, you get just one present from all of us. It probably doesn't look like much, but we all had to save up for it together. <coughs> yeah, me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mari and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me? I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. Same. Same. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but... It's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us about how you always sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. 
And there was even that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea, but we all decided to pitch in for a really nice one. So, yeah. We hope you like it, Sunny. This is from all of us to you. I thought he got building blocks. That must have been really expensive. Ta-da! It's your very own violin! <coughs> we hope you'll like it, Sunny. Go on and try it out. You felt a tingling in your fingers, as if on its own, your body readied the violin to play. Beautiful. Beautiful. What a great note. You remembered the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. That it scared you, but you didn't mind. Because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. Okay. We are getting there. Oh. Oh. There's... Oh, there's... there's. Oh, you remembered the taste of watermelon? Taste... Okay. Yeah. You remembered the freshly baked cookies that Mari made from scratch. You remembered the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. She would always keep you safe. You remember the falling rain as it hit your hum umbrella. And you were standing next to your best friends. You remembered the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. You remembered Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. Okay. Yeah, I remember how happy we were until, until we fucked it up. Sunny, you're finally here. What's this? Okay. After this point, it's going to be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after all, we all became friends, I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually. But... When the others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You would listen to me talk for hours and hours. I could always rely on you to do that. Because you never say a damn word. <laughs> I know we've missed out on each other for the past few years. But it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or that I'm kind of careless. But I'll always be here if you're okay with that. Sunny. We know that you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you, but you have to put a little bit of trust in us, too. Just because you've done something bad, does it... Kel? No! Kel! Doesn't make you bad. You've had to live... With this pain for so long. And you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them too. Oh, thank you for giving me permission. There's more good times to come. Life gets better. And you can be the one to make it happen. Whatever happens next is going to be your call. But we're here for you because you want us to be. And 
We really hope that this isn't goodbye. Oh gosh, okay. No matter how far you push your feelings down. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, it feels like unthinkable that they would forgive. They'll always come back somehow. And what you do with those feelings, that will be your truth. Hey, Sunny. Break a leg for me, all right? You can do this, Sunny. I promise to stick with you until the very end. Yeah, I think we'll always be best friends. That's okay with you too, right? Where's Basil? Whatever you end up choosing, we will always want what's best for you. Keep us in your thoughts. We'll be cheering you on. Okay. Yeah, I want to save because I, I don't know. <coughs> like... Is the choice going to be obvious? We believe in you, Sunny. I mean, maybe we either walk up the stage or leave the room or... I don't know. Okay. An empty music stand. Do you want to place down your sheet music? Okay. Yes. Place the sheet music onto the music stand. The stage is ready for you. Do you want to play the violin? Is this like a metaphor for like him confessing? Or is this like he's he's finally doing his his performance with Mari? I don't know. Is he crying for the first time? Is he finally accepting the truth of what happened? I have so many questions. This game just keeps me guessing. Hello. Um, what are you doing with that? What will Sunny do? Oh. Okay, so... Okay. Encore. Cherish. Attack three times. Okay. Get out of here, Amori. That took a lot of... 
Uh, I can't do that more than once. My juice will not fall for three turns. Oh, I should have done that first. Ellie, go back. <laughs> Shit. Okay. It's fine. We can heal. So, <coughs> Omori represents something. Omori... Amori is the piano. Um, Amori was standing in for him in his dreams. You remembered Kel's words. <laughs> Friends, friends are supposed to be there for each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Mori did not succumb. Oh yeah, he never does, does he? Okay, your juice will not fall for three turns. Better heal up. Just to be safe. You remember... Remembered Aubrey's wish. I hope you can find some peace or, you know, some happiness. so much suffering yet you do nothing and so you've earned nothing in return Amori must be his guilt Amori erases the enemy your friends will never forgive you. They'll abandon you like you did them. And that's what you deserve. Oh boy. Remembered hero's promise. Last time, we made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. You tell yourself that you don't want to burden others, but the truth is that you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. did you think about when do you think about others how long are you going to let people take care of you you say you care but you're a liar you've never done anything for anyone else i feel like it's it's really easy to imagine that he would think this that this is what he would tell himself because I was even thinking that 
he he doesn't seem like from what we see he doesn't seem like he contributes much everybody's always doing so much for him and i can see how he could feel that way like i i literally felt like that too you're useless less than useless you're sick <sighs> that's not what i meant to do oh, shit i think we'll be fine though people like you don't deserve to live oh I could use this again. People like you don't deserve to live. Please heal. You remembered Basil's hope. <coughs> Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect yourself. You're nothing but a liar. And when they see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. Ow! Ow! You should just die. That's not fair. much damage before yes i want to retry oh my god how far back i gotta go dang it <laughs> okay basil They know the truth you'll never be able to regain their trust no matter what you do it will be hopeless all you'll do is make things worse it would be better to just die no it would be better to just die I'm not going to take any chances here. I was like, I had so much health and he killed me. Oh, stop. Stop doing so much damage.
Okay. We can do this. Ow! I'm gonna die again. Why is this so hard? Whoops, I don't wanna run. Will not succumb. Please. Okay, you remembered Mari's request. You'll forgive yourself, won't you, Sunny? You killed Mari. She loved you and you killed her. Ouch. Oops, I keep doing that. Oh god, the sounds are awful! Ugh. Hero loved her and you killed her. loved her and you killed her Kel loved her and you killed her Basil loved her and you killed her loved her and you killed her oh it's the same request i thought it would be something different whoops suck at video games so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Do you want to continue? Um. Yeah. Wait. Maybe I want to fight him again. Oh. I don't... I mean, I lost. Maybe I should restart, reload? Oh. What will Sunny do play? Okay, I guess we'll just see what happens. I don't know. I could have... I could have beat him. I kept attacking instead of trying to heal. into Aubrey's shoe. Oh, Basil. Keep being afraid it's gonna end, like, too abruptly. Maybe they just- if you can't beat the boss after a couple tries, maybe they just feel sorry for you and let you continue. <laughs> Did he forgive himself? Wow, Basil really beat the shit out of us, didn't he? Thank you. 
What happened to our eye? Flowers from Kel and Hero's family and Aubrey sending a little get well sunshine your way. We miss you, Sunny. A very, very comfortable bed, but now is not the time to sleep. 10 out of 10. Flowers from Charlene's family. Dear Sunny, thank you for your help. <laughs> Wait, who's Charlene? <laughs> During the summer, warmest wishes for a speedy recovery. Flowers from Shopkeep. Yo, Sunny. Just sending healthy vibes your way. You're always welcome at hobbies. <laughs> Flowers <coughs> from Joy's family. Hello, Sunny. Please get well soon. Thank you for tutoring Joy over the summer. She's doing well in all of her classes. From Kim and Vance's mob, get well soon. Please get to know Kim and Vance better. They can use a good role model like you. What happened? Why are we in the hospital? Get well gift from artist. Hi, Sunny. Hope you're taking it slow and easy. Get well soon and come visit. I need to ask you for more opinions. Flowers from Sean and Karen. Wishing you well, Sunny. We're all finished moving into our new house, so please come visit sometime. Some get well gifts from Daphne and Bowen. Partake in this bread and regain strength. Then play with us again. <laughs> Those twins. Get well gift from Vance, Kim, Charlie, Angel, and the Maverick. Get well soon, Sunny. We'll be waiting for a rematch. Flowers from Brent's family. Hey, Sunny. Hope you're feeling stronger every day. You were a big help to Brent over the summer. He's been doing excellent in school. <coughs> okay. What about the pizza guy? Pizza guy? <laughs> no? everything so bright I gotta make sure Basil's okay. <laughs> Wait, did we actually really beat the shit out of each other? to tell you something <coughs> oh god game
Let's let it sink in a little bit. There's more. So... more but what I'm getting from that is I mean we saw the events unfold of what happened with Mari and Basil oh gosh hold on I think this special thanks to you oh thank you Seems good. was that was a really tough game to get through man those those last uh few hours are insane okay well i'm like over over time you know so is that it whoa And now we're done. <laughs> the sky is shining. I hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough of Omori. This game was a very special game. One of the things that a game like this really needs in order to be effective is a cast of characters that you grow to, that you grow to really love. And I really grew to love this cast of characters. Um, especially Basil and Kel, I think were my favorites, but only by a little bit. Everybody was really great. This game had me on edge for the whole way through. Like sometimes I would let my guard down because when we were going into the white space and the, the dream world, Things were so fun and we were going on all these crazy adventures and yeah, we're looking for Basil, but we had all these crazy things along the way like space ex-boyfriend and sweetheart, Humphrey, and the list goes on and on, the kids at the playground, and it's just really quirky fun. Really great dialogue, lots of fun side stuff to do. Exploring was exciting because you never knew what was going to happen, what kind of places you were going to go to, all the different people you were going to talk to. I thought the combat was really unique and interesting. The emotion system, I liked the different weapons and accessories. Playing around with those was really fun and, and selecting the abilities for each character because you could only hold four at a time. And the way that your accessories and weapons can work together with um, your abilities that you choose. If like you do more damage when you're sad or when you're happy or things like that. So I really loved the strategic element and the customization that you could do with that. But especially towards like the, the latter half of the game, things just started getting really worrisome for me. I just had this constant feeling of dread, like 
I was so afraid that Basil was going to kill himself or that, you know, something was, something horrible was going to happen to him. And I'm so glad it didn't, but oh my gosh, I was so worried. And I loved Basil. I love Basil so much. He's just the sweetest thing, but man, he and Sunny have a very dark past and that was shocking. I didn't expect things to go that way. And I really like how they kind of hinted towards it, but you couldn't really figure it out the first time through when they showed the different pictures of the event that happened, the black and white photos with Sunny and Mari and Basil and me just trying to decipher like, you know, wait, wait, who's taking the picture and realizing that there was actually a third person present for that incident. It's definitely a game that you have to, you have to play again at least one more time, I feel, to get the full experience. I really thought that it was going to have some sort of tragic thing happen at the end. And yeah, I'm just really glad that it didn't. And we got a nice good ending and oh, and we got a nice happy ending, but whew, was it a struggle getting there? Was it a challenge and it wasn't easy, especially the the final fight with Sunny versus Amori and kind of realizing really just the depth of and the intensity of the feelings that Sunny was dealing with and keeping inside and of course we can imagine what kind of stuff that Basil was going through as well but a lot of those things that Omori was saying to Sunny I can easily see how somebody could feel like that could feel like the people around them don't don't care for them that they'd be better off without them that they wouldn't forgive him things like that some of those things really felt really real to me like personally and I know we've all had feelings of doubt and that we're not good enough and that we're not worthy of love I feel like it's not just me right <laughs> I'm sure we've all gone through that at some point in our lives and that was the toughest part for me that was one of the tough parts for me there were a lot of tough parts in this game but that that one really sticks out to me or like when they were having the picnic when they all kind of made up and Mari wasn't there and it felt so it didn't feel right without her I feel like you know what I just realized something this is a game where Mari is already passed away when we start playing and she has been for a while and the way that they got us attached to her character because and so maybe she would have been somebody that we didn't really connect with because we never knew her because she was already gone but we were able to connect with her because we went through this all these adventures with her and she was always there to give us words of encouragement and give us food to keep us going and and give us a safe place to rest. And then also seeing how our characters interacted with each other in the past when they were all together and friends. And then to see what happened to them over time and how they all drifted apart. And were all carrying such painful emotions inside themselves. These unresolved feelings. <laughs> the game is about loss and finding peace and acceptance and and moving on and reconnecting <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting so emotional about it right now but it was uh like when I finished the game I was just kind of flabbergasted kind of speechless but now that I've had time to kind of let it simmer it's really uh really hitting me so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough of Amori I expect that a lot of you guys went through some really intense emotions 
when playing it and I think everybody had something or some things that really personally they related to. So if you'd like to share what parts of this game you really connected with and what parts of this game really moved you and what this game means to you, then please feel free to do so. And I hope to see you guys in other playthroughs on this channel. And I hope to play more games like this in the future as well because this was beautiful. And I didn't even mention the freaking soundtrack. The soundtrack was amazing. The soundtrack was so good. I was so surprised how many different unique songs that they made for this game. It was amazing. Alright, I'm gonna let you guys go. But thank you guys again for watching. I look forward to reading your comments. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.